Hey everyone, this is Tammy Roussel from Mitzi Kit Adaptive Crafting and Sewing. I wanted to share a few tips on how to thread a needle without need for eyesight. Some of the tools we'll need include a cruel, <laughs> cruel needle, which is a size three. This is recommended because the cruel needle has a, a fairly large eye as compared to regular sewing needles. And this is really useful with our threading tool and our threading tool, which is called a bow style threader. And as you see, the base of the threading tool kind of looks like a guitar pick, and the um, wire diamond on the top of it is larger than your average threader that you'll find on the market. And then we have this simple snap hair clip. This is a goodie snap hair clip, and we'll go over why we need that in just a moment. And then finally, our thread. And I typically like to use wax thread when I'm hand sewing, uh, but this is just some, some orange thread that I'm using for illustration purposes. And I like it to, to be about arm's length, and this is double my arm's length so that we can use a double threaded needle, which is what I recommend. So let's get started. We'll take our cruel needle, and the first thing I want you to do is to put the head of the needle where the eye is located between your index finger and thumb and just kind of turn it and you can tell where the flat section is as you turn it. Keep that flat section on top of your index finger so that you feel um, the eye of the needle should and that flat section should be flat against your the um, index finger. Then take your bow style needle threader and as we had indicated, there is a diamond, wire diamond on the top, and at the apex of that wire diamond, you want to insert that apex into the eye of this needle. Now that might seem difficult without sight, and I won't say it's not, but it can be done through touch. So I'm gonna illustrate that now with my eyes closed. So here's my needle on my index finger. I feel the flat side, and I'm gonna take my wire diamond, and I'm just kind of flick it on the needle on my finger so I can get the sense of what it feels like when it connects. And then I'm going to slow it down and I'm basically, oh there it goes, I tried to just insert the, the tip of the diamond through the eye of the needle by touch and there it is. It may seem difficult, I'll do it again, just kind of flick against the needle and then slow it down, there we go. It can be done. Don't get discouraged, just keep practicing. You will be able to do it by touch. Once I get the needle on there, I'm gonna gently put it down on the table so that I don't lose what I did. And then I'm going to pick up my thread. And thread is hard to feel with your eyes closed. If you, haven't, if you, if you don't have um, eyesight issues, then uh, close your eyes and try it. It's very hard to feel the thread. So what I'm gonna do in order to make this more um, easy to manage and handle is to take this goodie hair clip and unsnap it and put my thread, I'm gonna close my eyes again, put my thread right down through the center of that unclipped clip and then clip it shut. And I'll just have, oh, about a, a couple inches of thread tail coming out the other end. Now, this makes it much easier to feel my thread because I know it's clipped into this hair clip. Now I'm gonna pick up my needle threader and I'm gonna do that making sure that the um, oval side, the, the guitar pick like uh, base is facing downward so that my needle doesn't fall off that I put on. And I'm gonna feel that wire diamond on top of the threader and feel for the opening. So I'll just bring this up to the camera so you can see there's an opening in the wire diamond and that's where I want to insert this hair clip. So I'm going to close my eyes and feel the opening in the diamond and then I'm just gonna put this hair clip by feel through that opening. It might take a couple tries. That's okay, don't get discouraged. All right, there we go. I got it through and I'm simply gonna pull the hair clip off the thread. Once I've done that, I'm gonna let go of my thread, hold the base of the needle threader, the guitar pick like piece, and hold my needle in the other hand. So one hand has the guitar pick, the other hand has my needle. 
I'm going to pull the, the guitar pick away from the needle. So I'm just gonna hold my needle steady and pull the guitar pick away until I feel the thread come off the guitar pick. Once I've done that, I know I've threaded my needle. Now, if, if your um, need thread didn't come off your guitar pick, it's probably because you had too much thread of a thread tail, but just keep pulling until it comes off. Now I have my thread here, and the next challenge is to make both ends of these thread match up so I can tie a knot. Again, when you're not sighted, that can be more difficult than it seems. Try closing your eyes and take your thread and feel for the short end. Once you've found the short end, wrap it around your index finger about three times. That way it's held securely in that hand. Now, as you are holding on to this, you're gonna slide this down and pull and then just grab for the other piece. There we go. So now I can keep sliding until I find that the thread is going to match up. So when it, when that long end comes and matches up to the shorter end, oh, I just passed it. Again, it's not easy. I'm going to find it again. All right. So it's right about there. Then I'm going to take the two pieces and I'm gonna roll them in between my fingers. And I'm gonna keep rolling them until it forms a knot. So really bunch it up. Don't be afraid to really bunch up that thread. It should look like a, a wad of thread between your index finger and your thumb. And once you've done that, once you feel a good wad forming, just pull on it and pinch. Pull the thread and pinch it and voila you've got a knot. <laughs> so there you have it, your threaded needle without sight. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me through messaging in our Facebook page, www.facebook.com slash Thanks and hope to see you again soon.